Replicas are defined in-game as a biomechanical person, a synthetic reproduction of a gestalt, a biological culture grafted onto an artificial endoskeleton and enclosed in a protective exoskeleton. This definition, given from a book in the library on the first floor, is really the best introduction to the complex beings that are replicas. Over the course of this video, I intend in explaining each part of the replica's anatomy, so that we can all come to a greater understanding of what makes these humanoids tick. As is evident from the definition, replicas are a complex species representing the melding of the biological and the mechanical to produce a bioproduct that is apt for more use than normal humans. So. To explain the anatomy of these beings, I'm going to break each part of their biology up and explain it in isolation, and in the process explain how these parts interact and how we know how they work. So, on the outermost level of the replica's body is their outermost flesh. This flesh is not universally applied across the body and seems concentrated primarily on the face and the torso. This flesh most likely exists to help a persona stabilization and keeping up the appearance of the replicas, as this is also the flesh that rots away with the corruption. We see this outer flesh rot away in both corrupted replicas as well as in the start of the game with Elster. Beneath this exterior flesh coating, there is a mechanical frame of the replica. This metallic frame is the exoskeleton of the replica, providing exterior protection to the vitals. It is this frame which holds together the replica's form after they are corrupted and their flesh begins to corrode. This frame is not very complicated, so we can keep going and explore the structures that lay beneath it. So, beneath the endoskeleton is where we find the inner flesh and organs of the replica. This inner flesh seems to line the interior of the torso's endoskeleton, as well as most likely other areas that seem to have nervous system connections like the facial plate. We know the flesh is supported by oxidizing fluid that is toxic for human consumption. This oxidizing fluid is theorized to be an iron type base that allows for oxidation within the replica supporting their vital biological systems. It is also theorized that this fluid also makes replicas more susceptible to cancers, thus explaining why ulcers decease so quickly after reactor failure. The last major system of the replica body is its modular frame. This frame is an internal heavy skeleton that holds and protects the internals of the replica as an endoskeleton, much like the ones found in humans, only this one is made of a much stronger material. This frame also supports modularity, found with Elster allowing her to replace her arms and breastplate with an alternative parts should the need arrive. They also have facial plates that, while not modular and are connected to their skull, seem to allow for the mounting of the masks in certain replica types. By these major systems, there are also organs within this body that we can try to glean information from regarding how this body works. First, we have the replica central organ systems. These are the torso-based organs that we see exposed when Elster is wounded in the chest following the fake out ending. These organs seem akin to normal organs, including lungs, evident that she needs air to breathe, which is supported by the need of the AVA suit. There seems to be parts of our digestive tract and other standard parts we would expect. We also know that there is a heart in this part of the body, as replicas have a heart rate, which we learn from the display near the Yule patient and from Falk. Next, we have the brain. The replica brain is plain shown to us in the med bay, as having little deoids all over it that seem to blend the biological with the mechanical. Elster's brain biological parts are likely responsible for her thoughts, feelings, emotions, persona degradation and other parts, while her gestalt memories and logic modules seem to stem from the mechanical inserts into her brain. We also know that whatever the root of bioresonance is, this part will likely be found within the head, somewhere near, or in the brain. Finally, we have the feet. Replica lacks standard feet, instead having a more hoof-like appendage. Originally, in-game, this was shown as a claw, but newer updates have removed this, so all depictions are in line with the artistic intent of the replicas having a hoof. So, with that, we can conclude this video. 
The lore of Replica Anatomy is pretty interesting, so I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed digging into it. If you have any questions or noticed anything I missed, feel free to drop a comment below. I tried to read them all. If you'd like to join a Discord that talks about this game or just relax, my home Discord is linked below. But that's all I've got for you today. So this has been Christopher Beast, and I'll see you all next time.